Welcome to Soul 311, Study Session 11, The Service Agencies, Introduction. In this study session, we shall discuss the roles of service agencies in community organization. The agencies are either owned by government, non-governmental organization, or philanthropies. Our focus in this lecture is on governmental service agencies. Objective. At the end of this study session, you should be able to identify and discuss the roles of service agencies, examine the organizations and administration of service agencies. Service agencies deliver various social services to solve prevailing problems in the community. These agencies are predominantly in the field of health education, social welfare, and development. The agencies are either owned by government, non-governmental organization, or philanthropies. Our focus in this study session is on government service agencies. Different societies have different problems. Some of the social problems emanated from cultural basis, economic condition, social difficulties and others in developing countries poverty food housing unemployment and other basic provisions are the major needs of the population the specific service agencies are established to meet certain needs affecting the populace these agencies are often targeted to a specific group in the society. Once a social problem is identified, the government can set up an agency for the purpose of solving the problem. Efforts to deal with the poor as a marginal group have been inadequate and the attention is now being given to policies that involve redistribution of income and of access to employment education, housing, and rural development. Some services are concerned with meeting the needs of marginal or specially disadvantaged people. Others are addressed to general needs in the society for which market does not provide. Specialization. Service agencies specialize in some specific functions in order to mobilize and commit their limited resources to solve specific needs. For example, Directorate for Rural Development is specifically charged with developing the rural areas. Specialization offers advantages of efficiency in the use of scarce resources speed of action and enhancement of the skills on the part of service providers. However, the rigidities that accompany specialization also create problems when agencies are pressed to respond to the changing demands of their environment. Administration. Providers of service occupy a particular important role in creating and modifying the program of service agencies. The employees function in part as a former bureaucracy as in all government employment. Agencies are characterized by differentiation of roles and responsibilities, channels of supervision, rules and regulations. The presence of professionals in the staff of the service agencies influences the organization's operations. There is the tendency for such agencies to deviate from strictly bureaucratic model. It is one of the characteristics of professionals to claim autonomy in making judgment on matters in which they are experts and they will resist any constraints imposed on them. Often, the demands of professionals lead to conflict in the community. The career administrators are civil servants 
employed purposely for administration and organization purposes. They are recognized as policy and decision makers. The CADA often advises the government on various issues. There is constrained conflict with professionals because they are always at the ends of affairs in the organization. The organization managing function is concerned with the substance of the organization as a total entity. That is, with acquiring, assigning, and planning for the orderly and coherent utilization of resources, namely finances, personnel, physical facilities, and material. Technical and professional actions to solve social problems must interlink with administrative process. There should be coordination of activities within the organization to ensure success of the programs why administration provides the machinery and logistics for planning and implementation of programs. The technical and professional actions ensure quality delivery of services as experts. There should be good communication between the professionals and administrators. The supervisory function of administrators govern the utilization of resources provided by the organization. Elements of functioning service agencies. One, there should be a mandate or legislation which approves the establishment of the agencies to perform particular services. Two, the agencies are set up to satisfy needs of the public. The service agencies cannot operate without the consumers or clients. There should be patronage of the people to make the agencies fulfill their mandate. Three, the government should readily fund the agencies. There is a need for manpower and facilities for the agencies. Insufficient funding will affect the operation of the service agencies. Four, the personnel is supposed to be prepared to perform a range of responsibilities for the success of the agency. Qualified human resources in terms of administrators and professionals should be in the service agencies. Five, there should be constant information communication on the needs of the community and the service agencies must have access to information on how to handle the problems. Without adequate information, agencies cannot be aware of the changes to which they must respond if they are to service and fulfill their mandate. 6. The service agencies must be able to adapt to the changing environment in order to solve problems. The intelligence system operating as organization eyes detect changes in circumstances surrounding the agency. The information should be analyzed, policy modified to adapt to changes. 7. The agencies must readily accommodate changes in the laws and administrative decisions of the government. Governmental policies are not static. They are reviewed when the need arises. Service agencies should accommodate the changes to satisfy their community. Examples of service agencies are 1. Ministry of Industries 2. Ministry of Education 3. Directorate of Food, Road and Rural Infrastructure DFRI 5. Directorate of Employment NDE 6. Agricultural Development Programs and 7. Ministry of Social Services Health housing and education summary in this study session we discuss the role of a social worker in community organization the social worker as an organizer in community organization galvanizes the community for social action to solve communal problems this is the end of study session 11 thanks for listening <laughs>